We had a very warm end to June, but July so far hadn't been that bad. It's been pretty fair, and we're about right around where we should be in terms of temperatures, except really over the weekend, we had some clouds that helped keep us on the cooler side. We had rainbows as well. You see this one, this picture captured by Andrea Gardner over in Covington, and a great view. Now, the thing is that some of you saw this rainbow not quite reach the ground, and it might have looked kind of segmented. The thing is, we were seeing virga, which is actually rain that doesn't reach the ground. It, you see it up at the surface, and it looks like it just kind of stops as it's falling out of the clouds. You have drier air towards the surface that makes it evaporate before it gets here. But either way, great sunset uh, causing those rainbows across the area. But yesterday, the rain definitely reached the ground. We had a fair amount of rain across our area, varying, of course. It was another one of those days where you kind of had to be in the right spot. Three quarters of an inch to around an inch in the Corsicana area. Over towards Hillsboro, uh, a quarter of an inch to three quarters of an inch there. And then uh, half an inch to, or excuse me, a tenth of an inch, one tenth of an inch to about half an inch in Cleburne but much less than Waxahachie, just about a tenth of an inch there. Now, the best amount of rain you got was in Northern Hill County, and then there was this shower that really blew up over Bosque County yesterday evening. It was really the only thunderstorm we had during that time. That moved north and tried to make it into Johnson County, but right there at the county line, it just fell apart. There's just nothing behind that to keep it going. Now, temperatures today, we're right around normal, like I said. So we're not in the hundreds, we'll take that. We're right around the mid 90s. And what's interesting is you usually see me put the warmer temperatures down towards the south. Really, we're looking at warmer temperatures probably up to the north today. There's drier air the farther north you go and drier air does warm more efficiently. Now overnight tonight, I've accounted for that as well. I think that we'll probably be more in some of the drier air in some of more of our southern areas here, kind of depending on where that settles tonight. Night. But I will say that I think we get a little bit cooler in our southern counties because, again, we should stay cooler during the day. But really, 73, 74, I think we're all going to be in the low to mid 70s overnight. I don't think it's going to be that big a difference. We need to talk about drought conditions. Now, let me say that, yes, we did have a fair amount of rain come through Bosque County over into Hill County. So our western areas have gotten a decent bit of rain over the last couple of days. And this was updated last Thursday. So this is a little out of date, but it does bear reminding that even though we've had all this rain come through, it is still a little bit on the drier side across our area. So when you're firing those fireworks, just be careful out there across our area. Now here's the water vapor. This is what I was talking about. We have this drier air across northern sections of our area, this Pacific moisture across the southern portions of our area. And you can see that Navarro and Hill counties there, a little bit more moisture in the air than Ellis and Johnson. But as the day goes on, we'll see this play out. And I think the most of the storms that we will see later today, we have about a 20% chance of rain. I think most of that's going to be over our northern counties where they will warm up more as opposed to our southern counties. But it will be interesting to see how much of this moisture gets activated for storms later today. So I do think that the best lift will be across our northern counties later today for those showers and thunderstorms. Not everybody gets one, but I think that we do have showers and thunderstorms. I, we say the afternoon, we've had these surprise early morning showers. So, you know, I, I can't guarantee that we won't see one or two earlier in the day, basically all day, just be ready for a little pop-up showers and thunderstorms here and there. Here's the big picture of what we're looking at, the dome of high pressure off to our west. This will make its way eastward as this low pressure system exits as well, but not before we have a front that's going to try to make it into our area Thursday, Friday range. Now, unfortunately, I don't expect this front to really make it very far, if at all, in our area. So as this slides southward, we will see it stall out as they often do in the summer. And they, tr they come in, they truly give it the good college try, but it's not going to make it very far. So it's going to move into our area. It'll kind of stall out. I have about a 30% chance of showers and thunderstorms Thursday, leading maybe a little bit into Friday before we dry out and warm up for the weekend. But yes, this dome of high pressure will be making its way, and we will be looking at triple digit temperatures by Saturday or Sunday, unfortunately. Not much happening in the Atlantic. I mean, we're looking at the main development region here off the west coast of Africa. There's a fair amount of 
convection there, but just not much really in terms of what's making it into the water. The National Hurricane Center says for at least the next week, there's really nothing. You have some of this convection off the north coast of South America there, but again, none of this really looks like it's going to organize into anything over time. So let's look at the July 4th forecast for you here. 20% chance of showers and thunderstorms. Again, it looks like it's just these afternoon storms that'll pop up here and there. Most of those are before sunset. Usually you take away the daytime heating, those storms fall apart. Highs around 95 degrees, low around 75. So again, normal for what you expect for the 4th of July. Let's look at the extended forecast here. 94 today, again, light south winds could be another shower thunderstorm today. Uh, again, mostly in the afternoon, could be some earlier in the day. Mostly, I think, to our north, though. I think that we have a lower chance than maybe Dallas, Collin counties up there. So if you're headed up north, could have a better chance of seeing a storm or two later today. 20% chance tomorrow again. Afternoon thunderstorms done probably by sunset. Wednesday we have a lower chance. So it looks like we kind of have a dip in the rain chances here. Could be one or two. We warm up a little bit and then Thursday we'll be watching that front that will approach our area but I don't think it makes it very far. Should stall out right around probably somewhere between I-20 and Waco. I know that's a big area but we're still several days out. Time will tell us what's going to happen there. That might make our temperature go a little bit up, a little bit down. 30% chance of showers and thunderstorms that day with a wind around 10 miles per hour. So not too much going on with that front. Friday, the winds don't shift to the north there. I think we're stuck with a south wind. If they even change at all, it'll be very briefly. Friday, a low chance of some lingering showers and thunderstorms probably in the morning. 96 degrees there. And then, yes, by the time we get to the weekend... It's back to the sweltering weather with that dome of high pressure returning 99 degrees Saturday, 100 degrees on Sunday. So we are warming up. We will get back into that sweltering summer heat we know so much in North Texas. But for the 4th of July, pretty much what you'd expect. Again, mid-90s. Could be a shower or thunderstorm or two in our area, but nothing washing us out. Should be mostly done by evening. I will say for your forecast, when it comes to the evening time, you're looking at those fireworks. If we have those outflow boundaries that are bouncing around, sometimes those will give additional lift that you don't need with the heat. But we should mostly be done by the time sunset arrives. So stay safe out there. And I know that there's some fireworks going on tonight. Do that safely. Remember, we are looking at some drier conditions, so just try to avoid the trees and those kind of things as you're shooting those off. And uh, stay safe and enjoy those festivities, and we'll see a more detailed look at your weekend forecast when we unfortunately will be looking at those warmer temperatures as we get through the day tomorrow. So we will be bringing a forecast to you tomorrow. We'll make sure that you're prepared for those 4th of July festivities.